See, the underlying concept is that if there is a set, say 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, if the difference between the terms is the same, the standard deviation would remain the same. So, even if this becomes 105, 110, 115, 120, the standard deviation of the new set will also remain the same because mutually the difference between these terms remains the same. You know, however, if we had 5, 10, 15, 20, if everything was doubled up, then the gap would also become double. So 5 and 10, the gap is 5. If you double them, 10 and 20, the gap becomes 10, double. So the standard deviation would also eventually double up. If the gap is, is halved, then the standard deviation will also become half. This is the basic concept. Coming to this one, we had P, Q, R, S. To P, we have, they've added Q here. So it becomes P plus Q. But see, to Q, they have added an R. To R, they have added an S. To S, they have added a P. So they have added different numbers. You know, so the standard division would change. If we add a 1 to it, if we add a if you added 2 to it, if you added 3, if you added 4, of course the gaps would be different and the standard deviation would change. So the standard deviation must, we cannot say that the standard deviation must be the same. The standard deviation would be the, maybe the same if, uh, you know, PQRS are equal or something like that. But yes, we cannot say this. Uh, coming or for some peculiar combination of values, it may be same, but definitely in most cases it will not be the same. The standard division would change. Come to the second case. In this case, what they've done is we had P, Q, R, and S. Although these values look different, if you watch them closely from each term, they have subtracted Q. So P has become P minus Q, Q has become Q minus Q zero. R has become R minus Q and from S has become S minus Q. As the same term has been subtracted, the, the mutual difference between the terms remains the same and therefore the deviation remains the same. Standard deviation would not change. Definitely here, two, 2 is true. Come to option 3. It has been doubled up. Each term has been doubled. So as I explained here, the standard deviation would also double up. And therefore, this is not true. 2, we have only so C is the right answer.